Hey friends, it's Brian here and it's time for another Jeep video. This is video number 76 in my Jeep TJ build project. I started with a salvage Jeep that I bought at Copart and I'm putting it back together and making it a trail Jeep. Eh, at least as much of a trail Jeep as you can have in Houston where everything's flat. Anyway, uh, please check out my um, playlist. I've got a Jeep build playlist as all the videos related to this project. If you enjoy the video, hit like. If you really enjoy it, hit subscribe and hit that bell icon so you find out when I release new videos. Let me know what you think in the comments. So what we're gonna do today is install the transmission cooler lines. And then I've got a little bit more maintenance uh, to do down here with these vapor lines. I would like to see these vapor, I'm gonna put a clamp on these vapor lines. In fact, we'll start with that one right there. And uh, all right, we'll be right back. So. These are just some basic, inexpensive uh, clamps. Uh, I don't think these, these are vapor lines. And what I wanna do is just ensure that I'm not having uh, vacuum leaks. go so we'll do that again down below I'll see you down there so in my desire to have a Jeep that I don't have to mess with when I'm out four-wheeling I am adding some clamps to these vapor lines because I, I just don't think this should move and uh, I bought a kit of these clamps they're not very expensive and it will prevent quite a few headaches. This is the last thing that you want to be loose while you are uh, yeah. vacuum leaks equal uh, engine performance problems so I feel better about that knowing that that's secured. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is going to be these transmission lines and they probably are. There we go. So the way these work, ah, uh, oh, shit. Now oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. God damn it. Well, apparently they run inside the exhaust. Motherfucker. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Alright. So, they're supposed to run behind here. Why? That's stupid. God damn it, Jeep. So, I'm gonna see if I can slither them back here, although I don't see how. God damn it. It was a real pain in the ass. Ah, fuck. Terrible radiator. It was a real pain in the ass to get these, to get uh, this exhaust on here. And it's going to make me very angry if I have to take it loose in order to get this line in here. Motherfucker. look like that's how it's supposed to go. That's fucking irritating. So the problem is I don't I don't think there's any way to get I don't 
don't think there's any way to thread this line through here. Um, and it does need to be back there. God damn it. Oh, that's fucking irritating. So this means I gotta undo two wires and then I've got to um, drop the fucking exhaust manifold again. Motherfucker. What an asinine fucking setup. And because it's one single piece of steel tubing, it can't be dealt with. Even though it's not very good shape. Yep, that's exactly what's supposed to happen. Drop the fucking exhaust manifold so we can do it twice. Because, yeah, the first time wasn't irritating enough. Okay, so. Out of the front one.
Okay, let me see if I can thread this in from the front. I think it needs to be behind there. Thank <laughs> you. 
just a little bit more shorter, more flexible, another fucking inch of room, and this just wouldn't be a headache. I don't understand why they didn't run this on the rail. Flex to here, all the way up to there. I mean, none of this is going to move. I know why they did this. So they could pop it in as a unit at the factory. Because they don't give a shit about maintenance when they design these. I hate fucking on back transmission sometimes.
Jumper up there. What the hell? I'm stuck over here. This would be a lot easier if this pipe wasn't in here. God damn it. It's so much fucking work to get this exhaust in and out of here because they didn't put a flange there. If they put a flange here, it would be really easy to disconnect this. Fuck. This thing has fish hooks on both ends of it. See, I just don't think that's going to fit through here. Another just classically stupid engineering. So I've got to get around this transmission cable, and I think the secret to this is one at a time. So let me get a screwdriver to release this clip.
course it would break. It needs to go somewhere else. Alright. So take that apart. It's still functional. And then I'll bring this back down in my way. that hold the shift cable on out of my way and I don't like doing this but I don't see any other alternative to getting um, the cooling lines where they need to be They're too loose to ratchet and they're too tight to get my finger. Fucking irritating. just have no idea. Pretty sure that this would have had to come out of the way no matter what.
and I still think this is a really shitty routing on this, but I'm not ready to like cut lines and do it my way. So I've got some clips that go in here on both of these and then that's what holds this in. to go because these are literally touching and I don't think they're supposed to be touching so let me solve that mystery and I'll be right back okay a little better angle here's one line here's the other line um, so we're gonna work on the top one first and I'm gonna see if I can put the light up here next to the camera oh hey yeah there we go um, so I got these little clips uh, again, I labeled everything and put it in bags, so it makes it really easy for me to find them again. I don't think I can wear gloves doing this. They're, they're really small. I don't even know if I could do this with my fingers. But we're going to try. You know, a hose clamp would have been just so much more difficult. So, I believe that these go in like a C-clip. All right, hey, that was easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nothing's usually easy on this fucking Jeep. Or any fucking Jeep, for that matter. So it looks like it's a positive capture system. All right, I need something to help my fingers for that. Let me get gloves and I'll be right back. I'm gonna try and use, uh, I'm gonna try to use a screwdriver. Cause yeah, that's the most abused tool in America. I'm going to put it on at an angle and see if we can nudge it into place because that's essentially what happened with the other one. I got really lucky with the other one. hard on my fingers. Thank you. 
So I'm gonna try putting it in from the bottom and see if this goes any better. I don't think so. I really think it has to be rotated in place. There it goes. And that's all there is to attaching it. in here. So those are in. Now I'm just going to look at this and see how this works. There we go. That's how that works. Now we can tighten this end up. The pain in the ass. plastic back here that needs to be put back in that clamps these together and hit face down. facing down. Go get a pair of lockers.
there was a spot where this would go I you know it's just gonna have to be there because I I can't see anything that uh, is gonna allow this to clip back in place I'm doing wrong here. good way to do this so I'm gonna reach up in here and start these by hand because I've
good big use studs. The problem is all this shit's jammed in here and you really just can't get your hands up here. simplest way to do this is from the side. And if you had your fender on, you wouldn't be able to do this because the quarter panel and fender would block you. Alright, that's kind of sort of started. So at this point, I'm going to reach up there with a wrench and say a, more, a few more cuss words. Fuck you Jeep engineers, fuck you Jeep engineers. I mean, another half inch of vertical clearance would work wonders in here. Um, it's just a really bad design for maintenance. It's probably a beautiful design for engineering, probably saves them a couple dollars. But from a maintenance standpoint, it's a fucking nightmare. And it's made worse if you don't have your Jeep up on a lift. check the bolt size okay so I put a wobble socket adapter or extension on here and I got a shorter extension let's see if that makes this a little better bad place to run your transmission cooler lines is right next to the exhaust.
Um, crank it down one side without having the other in. I can do in the front with this Allen uh, cap head screw and I'm using cap head screw because I have a damaged flange and there's no nice way to fix it. <laughs> So it's time to torque down everything that I can get to. 
and we'll just have to make the other one as tight as we can make it, which we're pretty much already done. hurts my hands and other things. as good as that's gonna get and uh, we'll just have to check it once we've run a little bit it appears that the piece that's broken might be on uh, this end although I think it's on the other end we'll just see how that holds up let go so uh, anyway, we got the front of the transmission cooler line to secure. That's next. Okay, so we're almost done. We're almost there. got to secure this and so I'm gonna pull this off this is a uh, little clip of sorts fails. I'm going to get a pair of clippers and cut it off.
Okay. one of these will work. The question is, I think uh, what's going to happen is it's going to get zip tied in place. Fuck. Okay, so that definitely works. And I think if I zip tie it there, it'll be about the right spot. Uh, there is some shift in the alignment. And I'm not able to get this to go where I want it. <clears throat> so I'm going to zip tie it there. And we'll just see if that holds. It, it very well might. Um, there's not any pressure on it, that's for sure. <clears throat> I think it'll be okay. And if it's not, I'll replace it with a metal tie. Uh, so let me trim that up. And there's a few other modifications that need to take place here. So let me pull this out. going to replace this does not have these quick connects in it so these need to come off here that's the fastest way to accomplish that I'm sure I'll be sorry for this later but this is what we're doing right now So stay tuned. You'll have to watch the next video to find out what's about to happen in that neighborhood. Uh, thanks for watching. My time's up for working on the Jeep for right now. Uh, 
I hope you found this entertaining and um, hopefully it helped somebody with their headache. I mean Jeep. Uh, but we'll be back soon with another Jeep project.